Welcome to video 8, where we will discuss HACCP Principle 7, which is record keeping. Evidence of product safety is very important. If it's not recorded, it didn't happen. This record keeping is also very useful during audits that may be performed or also employee training. This record keeping gives us problem solving capabilities and provides a history of the product and we can learn of potential problems and get them in control sooner. Records that we need to maintain are the hazard analysis itself, identification of the critical limits and monitoring records of those critical limits, such as data or validation studies that support those critical limits or actual testing methods that are utilized to, to measure those critical limits. We also have the corrective action log, verification procedures, and employee training records that need to be maintained. In addition to that, we need not forget our prerequisite programs, such as GMPs, SOPs, and SSOPs. We also have calibration records that we need to maintain of our monitoring equipment. In addition, we have receiving logs for our ingredients and our packaging materials, and then specifications that we would keep on file and maintain for those ingredients and packaging, and any material safety data sheets that may be important for cleaning chemicals. In terms of specific record keeping, we need to make sure that each entry is made at the time that the event occurs, and we would want to include the date and time of that recording. These records should also be signed or at least initialed by the employee that is making the entry. We would never want to pre-record any data nor postpone making entries and rely on memory. If modifications are necessary to any records, we would want to put one line through that error and then initial the change. Record review is also an important part of record keeping. This record review should be done by someone who is preferably HACCP trained. We would do this record review prior to shipping out a batch of product to ensure completeness of all records, that all critical limits were met at each of the critical control points, and that proper corrective actions have occurred if they were necessary. In addition to that, we would do a daily review of records for completeness. This record review document would be signed and dated by the individual who is performing the review.